Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Balloon Knot. Anyway, <laughs> back again with Wes and uh, <laughs> so stupid balloon knot. <laughs> you leave that in all week? No, I usually take it down. I'm like, I'll take it if I go work out. I'll take it down and kind of rinse my face out thoroughly. Okay. And then, so, uh, that would drive me nuts being tied up on usually, that. Usually, like on Wednesday or so, I'll get uh, my girlfriend to rebraid it. I'll take it down, wash it thoroughly. Yeah. Because usually what ends up happening is I can't oil my face very well, so it'll start to get dry and like, mm -hmm. itchy. Itchy. Yeah. Just, yeah. Anyway, enough about my grooming standards. Uh, don't forget, we've got a giveaway as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers. Which is going to take forever because nobody is watching our videos right now. Thanks. I'm going to blame it on somebody. Uh, <laughs> it's probably us. It's us, more than likely. But uh, once the uh, 5,000 subscriber mark is hit, which at this rate is going to take three years, uh, we'll give away these three bottles. Two, three lucky subscribers and commenters on a certain video. I ain't gonna worry about it. We might even change what they say in the future. It's, yeah. It's gonna take forever. So. Uh, anyway. Uh, enough about that. Yeah. If you want one of these bottles, comment. Or help us out. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like the video. Share it. All this stuff. Anyway, so we've had, well, you have had this. Been sitting on it a while. Mm, over a year? Pretty much. Uh, no. Did you get it before we started recording together? I got it the last time I went to Kentucky. What was on your face? Where? Is that jizz? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I was, I was at, yeah, it's not oil. oil. The, the, uh, the hard stuff. Balm? Balm, yeah. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah. That's to a shower. So, he's had this for a while and we've been talking about doing it. And this is all of the recipes uh, for. Old, or four and almost Actually, old. it's not because they just added two new ones. But oh yeah, yeah. So, so let's this do this was, one and see if we can get the two new ones. Yeah, this is as well as all the recipes. Yeah. So I bought it at Four Roses. So we're gonna start with like the OBs because ten drinks is gonna be a lot for us. Yeah. Sit there and not fall on. Yeah. Somewhere, might be on the back of that box. I can't taste it. Uh, uh, nope. Oh, there's no, that was a, 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 I'm not having a lot of fun with this Is it all over? Oh, God, that's tiny little running. But, uh. Well, it's got the I, tasting notes on each bottle. Okay. I mean, they're very, unlike, have you seen the commercial for Woodford, uh, Wood, yeah, Woodford Reserve? Mm -hmm. There's like a hundred different tasting notes. I'm like, you're so full of shit. Nobody can get a hundred different notes out of Woodford, out of anything. I'd, I don't care for Woodford, so right. it's just not one that I'm gonna. If I have any options, Ooh. Woodford is always well. Just a dollar? That. Yeah, just a dollar. So, we'll say that. so this is recipe one of OBSV. Get on there. Get, get back. Come on, come on, buddy. Uh, mash bill B. I guess there are going to be OB. Sure, OB, OB. OB is. OB, yes, B. Mash bill E. So I don't know. So B is the mash bill. E is this mash bill. Oh, so I guess uh, mash bill B is 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. Yeast strain V, as in vagina. Yes. Because they've so, got so many different recipes, it's yeah. ridiculous. So the tasting notes are delicate fruit and rye. Smell of rye. Whew. Spicy. Yeah, it's got some. Uh, it's got some punch to it. Oh, well, it's 104 proof. Are all these? Yep. Oh, okay. Mm. Not too bad. No, it's good. No, I like that a lot. OBSV. Yeah. All right. Mm, There's not much else to say about that. That's pretty good. Because it's very, dis I mean, it's pinpoint on its descriptor. It is 
It was definitely heavy rye. Yeah. We're gonna reuse the glasses because yeah. we didn't want to bring out ten freaking glasses. Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah, too much trouble to clean all these glasses up. So now we got recipe number two, OBSK. This is also Nashville B. I'm guessing that's gonna be the same. Probably. Tasting notes, and it's yeast strain K. I wonder how, but I guess it makes a big difference. Yeast strain. I yeah. mean. They've got 10 different flavors. Well, they all profiles. keep using their same yeast strains and stuff. I mean, that's how um, uh, Wilderness Trail. Mm -hmm. So those guys got started. All they did was yeast before. So they managed everyone's... Like, so say you, you had a problem. You had a bad batch, whatever. Mm -hmm. The yeast got screwed up. They kept it all stored. Damn. You were farting, huh? No. <laughs> Damn, that's a shame. So they started out with just two guys, basically they're scientists, and they'd keep everybody's yeast trained and they could recreate it for them and stuff like that and build them a new batch of yeast if they, for whatever reason. Yeah. Then they just started decided to make, start making their own whiskey. Huh. But then they sold it for an ungodly amount. I think yeah. maybe, I think it was Seagram's they sold it to. Yeah. They sold it to somebody though here in the last year. Cause they were putting out some good product. Yeast strain K has tasting notes of rye and baking spice. So OB is, I'm guessing, the high rye. Well, that, I mean, rye and baking, I mean, baking spice is typically what rye is, tastes like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I get off rye, all baking spice. Yeah, it's the, OB is the high rye, OE so, is so, the 20% rye. So what's the difference? So is it the same? Same, uh, Percentages? Yeah, it's sixty percent corn, thirty-five percent rye. Okay. I think they're all going to be that way. It's just different yeast. So it's the same mash bill, different yeast. Tastes totally damn different. Hmm. I don't think I like that one as much. Really? Mm hmm. I like it a lot. I like the first one. I like the uh, like the fruity on the front, mm -hmm. getting that that right kind of rye kick in the back. Um, better than that was just just it was all spice. Well, you might like this one. So OBS O, I'm sorry, is also 60% corn, 35% rye, 5% malted barley, tasting notes of rich fruit and spice. So I think that's my favorite barrel proof one OBS that I've had. I haven't had all the barrel proofs. I've, yeah, I know I haven't seen all of the barrel proofs. But I, I mean, I know I had seven different ones at one point, but I didn't have, I haven't had all 10. Well, I wish I'd have done my due diligence early on when I started finding the barrel proofs and actually yeah. collecting all of them that yeah. I saw. Because uh, my buddy Curtis brought back two of them, two different ones from from Four Roses, mm. and I drank the shit out of both of them. Yeah. And they I mean, I've never had on. one that I don't like. No. It's not spicy. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Yeah. That's, um, it's like apricot. Yeah. It's kind of what I get. Maybe some cinnamon. Yeah. But it tastes, I mean, right off front, it tastes like a, a dried apricot. Mm -hmm. Which. Stone I, fruit. Which I love. Is that stone fruit? Is that what they isn't call it? Isn't that what apricot is, where the big uh, pit is in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Stone fruit. Oh, is that what they call it? So, yeah. like a peach is a stone yeah. fruit? I didn't know that's what I think that's, I think that's, I think that's, may or may not be correct on that one, guys. All the shit that grows on a tree. I'm not lying to you, but I might not be telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No. Yeah. Heard that. So OBSQ is also 60% corn, 35% rye, 5% malt barley, tasting notes of rye, and lightly floral. Can we get smaller caps on these guys? Boop. Boop. Is that enough? Yeah, be enough. I wish you could just buy these in the damn store. Oh, at Harley's? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Just like this. Yeah. All these freaking tasting Because, I mean, this little set was not cheap. Oh, I can't imagine. 
I think, well, what I, are I they, think it's close to 200 bucks. These are 50 mils. So, I mean, you yeah. got 250, 500, to 500 mil, 200 bucks. Yeah, it was, it was stupid. <laughs> like, it was dumb. And it was like, I went back and forth like four times. Like, am I going to get it? Am I not? And I already bought several of the bottles. And then I went and, uh, like, yeah, the Chance was sitting in the bar. I went in there and they had uh, that year's their special release they do. Mm -hmm. So I drank one of those and then had another drink. The small batch one? Yeah, they're, that's so like, yeah. no, the, like, they're super. Yeah, like premium stuff they put out. Uh, what do they call that? I can't remember now. Four okay, uh, Roses Limited. Yeah, the limited editions. Well, I drank one of those, and I think I had an old fashioned, and then, and then I was like, at that point, I got to get enough buzz. I went and just here, take my money and screw me. I think that's the least like. The, only because I don't feel like it has the same boldness. So the second I taste it, it's, it tastes a lot like Willet to me. Yeah. Which you're not going to like at all because you're not a fan of Willet. You don't like floral. Yeah, I don't like their floral. Yeah. Their floral tastes like potpourri to me, not a flower. But I get, I get a lot of it. Now, last but not least, well, we're 12 minutes. We can make this one two videos. Might as well. So, same uh, mash bill and everything. This is OBSF. And the tasting notes are delicate rye and mint. So, this one. Don't taste a lot like a rye. Yeah. Because even though this is their high rye chip, uh, the harder porcelain. Yeah. Uh, None of these have been real minty. Mm. And I don't, I can't say that I've seen the OBSF. I, I'll have to look back on my videos because I've done videos on pretty much all of them. And I don't know if I've ever seen an OBSF. Which, I guess, shame on me now. I don't even buy the single barrels unless it's a barrel proof. I like the single barrel, just because I, I think to. all of those are they don't differentiate the yeast strain. I think it's a... Uh, well, they still they still give the... Which one they are on the regular single barrels? I don't think so. Oh, they don't? Mm -mm. Well, then... I don't know. Hmm. So that's... Maybe that's why. I don't know. I just... I was drinking single barrels for a while and I was loving them. And then I finally came across and got my hands on the barrel, barrel strength and I was like, ooh. This, <laughs> this one smells <laughs> minty right off the top. I'm not getting that, but it is minty. They're not wrong when they're no, they're. I mean, they're damn near spot on. I say. And I mean, I like how they only use two descriptors. They don't get overcomplicated with it. It's just Wood too reserved. Fuck you. A hundred different tasting notes. I don't know that I ever get that many tasting notes. It usually has like one really predominant one that stands out to me. Yeah. And then after that, I can kind of get something off the back yeah, end. Yeah, it's like rice, the rice, spice, and mint. I mean, and that's pretty accurate on its description. I like that. I like all of them a lot. I think I like OBSV mm -hmm. and OBSF. Probably the two best out of the bunch. I wasn't super crazy about that one. I mean, it's good, but I it's mean, my least favorite, I'd we, say. I mean, it, when it's all said and done, we can always do it blind. You know, put like just a little bit of cover oh, up the label. I'll, I'll look completely stupid then. <laughs> but that's the fun part of it. It's not fun to look stupid, <laughs> Kevin. I don't like looking stupid. Well, you know what you, you, yeah. know what you think you like. Yeah. I don't think you look stupid. No, I mean, blind tastings are fun, but it's just all, also another way to get more content without spending yeah. money. Which we we do have a set of the barrel proofs also that we're gonna do a video on. We just gotta get chance over it because they're they're his. He brought them. He told me to film it and I'm like I just hate drinking his stuff without him here. Yeah. 
But we're going to do that today anyway. Right? I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. But yeah. Uh, would you recommend this to the other viewers out there? The set? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, it's, I'm not saying this. I mean, if you can afford it. Yeah, I would, 200 bucks. I would say if you can afford it, just to sample and figure out one that you, figure out which one you like, because it will save you money in the long run. Yeah. I mean, you are spending like, $20 for a fucking 50 mil. Because I'm going to say, like, just off us tasting these five right here, if I had the option between this one, say I go to the store and they've got this one and this one, well, I'm going to go get the SO instead of the SQ just because yeah. I've already established it's my least favorite. Mm -hmm. If I'm sitting there and get the box, I mean, but no, me, I'm going to buy both boxes anyway. Yeah, but I would probably buy both if I saw both. That's just what I do. If I had a hundred, no, now they're $2. But it's all about your budget and stuff like that, too. Now so, they're a hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, they, I remember when I started getting them, they were 75? 65, 70. Yeah. And then they they got up to 75, and I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden, they went from 75 to 100, mm -hmm. like overnight. And I was like, what the hell? It's just hard. And I want to say I blame Wild Turkey for that. Wild Turkey started jacking their prices and all their shit. Like, mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace didn't really go up. Has, it still hasn't really gone up on the MSRP on anything. Yeah, they've but, gone up on IT. They've gone, they've gone up. They've gone up. But not. Well, EH2 small batch used to be like a little under 40 bucks. Now it's over 50. Okay. But you're talking about going from 40 to 50. We're talking about we went from 65 to 100. Well, and to what you were saying about Wild Turkey, the Russell Single Barrel went from mid 50s to almost $80. Yeah. Well, I mean, this Kentucky Spirit. Yeah. Paying 80 bucks for that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, I mean, it used to be mid and it's just a it's just a single barrel 101, yeah. which they're doing away with this now. Well, I don't want to blame Wild Turkey. I want to blame well, the I, secondary market. The secondary market drove it. But now it seems Wild like... Wild Turkey followed suit, or their parent company did, yeah. and they started putting out our special releases. I mean, look at how much we pay for generations now. Oh, and yeah. all these new master sheets. When we were buying those things for under two hundred dollars to start, yeah. and, there's a new, and now they're all pushing four hundred. Yeah, now there's a, a new Russell's fifteen year coming out. Yeah, I guarantee that's going to be two hundred plus. Which, and I say, Buffalo Trace didn't do it. They damn sure did because they did it with Daniel Weller. Oh yeah. Which I didn't think was well, anything special. Eagle rare, double double eagle, very rare. Yeah. Two thousand dollars. Well, now there's how can uh, you how can you justify going one hundred and fifty dollars for a seventeen year? Did you see their new one that come out, the Millennium? It's like twenty grand. Uh, seven grand, grand MSRP. Yeah, no, fuck you. No. There's no way it's worth that. No, not at all. Not at all. No. I will never taste it. No, I can promise you that. I would. I'll be happy if I can find another Eagle Rare seventeen for under two hundred bucks. We know that Generations is still sitting up at Big Pop, but yep. I saw it. I'm not gonna buy it. I thought it was Friday. But you already got one. Yeah. Have you opened yours? Mm -hmm. I was gonna wait till yours finished, then I'd open it. <laughs> you suck. Like, I mean, you better well, share it with me then. Well, I will. I mean, that, that's the plan. Like, why open both of them? That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's good. Yeah. I mean, if it sits there long enough and I get my credit card paid down to something respectable, <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll have to. I, would, I thought about that. I was like, nah. It's a hard, it's, it's just it's 400 bucks. It was well, a you, pay, you paid for 450, right? Five, five. Five, okay. And I paid 450 after yeah. shipping with mine because I bought it direct from. Yeah. So you were 50 bucks more than me. Yeah. Which I don't think is horrible for a mom and pop. No, they didn't mark it up. Now, like, they'll mark up the freaking uh, straight from the barrel blends. That shit is 500 bucks. That big pop is. Four, yeah. four or 500. But I bought a handy there, right? I got a handy from them. <laughs> and uh, 180, 150. Paid one, like, 185. Yeah. Which makes no, makes no sense to she, me. Well, it's the. I got antique collection. Yeah. 
It's the woman who's doing all. She's, the, she's ridiculous. She doesn't. She's looking at secondary prices, and that's what she's basing all of her prices. Well, she's on. and people are coming and asking for these certain yeah. things. They're not asking for. Nobody's asking for a handy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I think that's it for this one. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the other five on a separate video probably next week, and uh, go forward. And I think it would be fun to do like a little bond, but. That's your stuff. Do that. That's your stuff. I'm not going to do that. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe, show your friends. It's the only way we're going to get to 5,000 subscribers. And somebody's going to get one of these three bottles. Yeah. So. But, like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family, like Wes does, and me on sometimes, some occasions. <laughs> Be safe, don't drink a drive, take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.